What's good YouTube? How y'all doing man? Welcome to a brand new video man. Today we have a banger. Today we have a crazy sniper session. Did not expect to have this. Uh, I'm gonna just say we made almost 200k if not over 200k in this short sniper session. It took us less than an hour. Uh, nothing crazy. I mean stuff that I tell y'all all the time. Super simple. But I just want to start the video off for off by saying thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel i appreciate all the new subscribers all the old subscribers all the growth we've been getting lately is is it doesn't go unnoticed you know what i'm saying i appreciate everybody who comment on the videos who thumbs up the videos subscribe turn on a post notifications people who follow me on twitter if you want to follow me on twitter it's down in the uh, description box go ahead and, and follow me on twitter but yeah i appreciate all that stuff man it doesn't go unnoticed the grind is not going to stop. We're going to continue to to post these videos as much as possible. I'm going to get as many videos out to y'all as I can. As of right now, you guys can get a free team MVP. I can go into more in depth on how you can get it and what you should do with your team MVP if you guys would like me to make a video on that. But I'm going to get started on to what happened in this video. So first thing first, we sniped a 94 to 95 filter. One of the best filters this year. One of the best filters that... I, you know, I just, I can't stress it enough that this is the top filter in the game right now. 94 through 95, all offense, all defense. At first, I, when I got on, I was like, hmm, I'm probably going to make like 50K. Probably make like 40, 50K. Not a lot of money. But it turns out that I made a crazy amount of money. Just off the Bruce Smith was an easy 50K. Easy 50K as soon as I got on the car so instantly. So I put the card up. And then I ended up getting disconnected. And then right when I got disconnected, uh, I, I logged back in and then the car sold instantly. Right away, I was like, whoa, the cars are moving way faster than what they used to be moving at. So at the end of the day, uh, cars are selling a little faster than normal. Uh, I can't I can't say I'm not complaining. Uh, normally, I would be like the cars are selling slow. But today on this day. Today is the first day that EA just released the little house rule things. Cars are selling fast. Maybe because people are trying to build teams. Maybe because people are selling players on their team and they just trying to swap players. Whatever they're trying to do, I don't know what's going on. But obviously, cars are selling super fast. Now, to go into this filter, I would say you guys need to buy at least 600K. I bought, I think, I don't even remember how many cars I bought this video, but I'm going to say you need about 600K. Reason being is because you want to consistently keep buying cars as fast as possible. Man, this this it's a method that you got to capitalize when you can't capitalize on it. Um, what I'm saying is like, don't like if if the cars are moving fast, consistently be in that filter as long as possible. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't sit there and um, like if the cars are or if the cars are moving fast, stay in that filter as long as possible. If they're not moving fast, move on, go to a different filter. But I would say that right now, at this point in the game, the 94 to 95 is probably the best filter you need to be sniping in if you have the amount, if you have the coins to snipe in. I ain't going to say it's, um, it'll be better if you guys have over 600K. I'm going to just say that. If you guys got over 600K, snipe in this filter. If not, if you got under, you could still snipe in this filter. I know plenty of people who still snipe in this filter and they don't have over 500K, but you just... The thing is, the card sells so slow sometimes that you end up getting stuck with a card and you might not make as much profit as you think you would. So sometimes there's cards that you could buy that at that time is, is you know, projected to make like 50, 60, 70K profit maybe. But then as time goes on, maybe you get off and you put the card up for an hour. Maybe you could put the card up for 24 hours and it doesn't sell. So then the next day you get back on to go sell that card. That card now you're only making probably about 10 five to 10k profit and sometimes it's like that with these cars because you never know what's going on and the game is constantly developing so cars are constantly getting put into the game all the time so you got to capitalize and that's why i say if you have the money snipe this filter if you don't have the money that's fine there's a lot of other filters out there uh in the beginning of the video i was sniping the elite filter where i found that uh Roy. i also found this jordy nelson now, this, this, this jordy nelson kind of a banger i'm not gonna lie for for what I got him for which is 105 and I ended up putting him up for an hour and he hasn't sold yet as, as the point of me making this video but that Calvin Johnson did sell but anyways uh, you could go elite and go through positions you can go through fullback left tackle left guard center right guard right tackle you can go through that that is a good filter man I <laughs> I cannot stress that filter enough if you guys don't have a lot of money. If you guys don't have a crazy amount of money, that is one of the 
best filters you can snipe in. I think that it's a it's an underrated filter that nobody is really looking at, but you can make a good deal of money in that filter. Uh, I, I don't see too many people using it anymore. I don't see too many people making videos about it anymore, but that's a, it's a good filter if you guys got under 100K, or maybe if you guys got under 200K, it's a good filter if you don't want to snipe 90 to 91s. That, that, that lead filter and going through fullbacks and offense alignment, great. But back to this filter, 94 to 95, like I said, a lot of snipes. This John Randall, he could have been potentially a snipe. Uh, I seen one up for like 155, I think, or one might have been 160 flat. And he would, he could have been sold for like 190, 195. But it would have took me like the next day to sell him. And I was like, I'm trying to get these cars just move because I'm trying to capitalize on what's going fast right now. So that's why. Uh, I ended up passing him up a few times actually. I seen him a couple times and I ended up passing him up. Uh, there's some cars on here that you guys might see as a snipe and I passed them up, but mainly because the price was too close for it to be like a good snipe, or I feel like the car was going to sell slow. Or on top of that, it was a lot of cars on the block, so I decided, you know, let me pass on this car. But. If there's anything in the video, man, like I always say, if there's any snipes in here, I don't know all the prices for 94 through 95. I know like close to it, like what the car should be. I don't know all the prices. So if you guys ever see a car that you feel like you would have bought, put it down in the comment section and let me know which which one of these cars you would have bought if I didn't buy them. Because then that gives me a different perspective. I'm showing you guys what I would buy. So you guys could tell me what you would buy if, if you seen these cars. So. It just gives me a different perspective. Uh, it'll tell me, like, okay, am I passing up on these cars? Because I don't know. Some of these cars could be selling faster. But am I passing up on them because they're selling fast? Or because I think that they're going to sell. I mean, are, am I passing up because I think that they're going to sell slow, but they're really selling fast? So y'all can put that down in the comment section and let me know. Uh, further going on, you know, with these sniping videos, I'm going to consistently keep trying to bring these out as much as possible. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to try to get these videos out as swiftly as i can but at the same time what a lot of people got to understand is that the market is going through ups and downs it hasn't stabilized yet because we're constantly getting new cars like ea just released new team mvps didn't hit the market that hard as much as i thought it would i thought it would hit the market a little harder but it didn't um a couple cars went up a couple cars went down obviously the power-ups for those cars probably went up just a little bit some of them went down which is weird because people you know they inflate the price so much by buying the cars at such high prices and then what happens is the car comes out and they're like oh this car is not even that good and then the price goes down so i mean that's what that's how the car the cars be changing and whatnot but uh but yeah so this filter i'm gonna say this filter is one of the filters that you guys have to progress yourself into because there's a lot of um, cars that you're going to see and you're like, oh, this is something that I should buy. And you have to train your eyes and you have to be smart not to buy it because there's a lot of cars that you see up here that could be snipes. Like I'm telling you, like there's a lot of cars that I see like that Brian Young right there. That should have been a snipe that honestly, somebody was trying to put that up for 200 coins, but they didn't put. They went for the bid instead of putting it up for the whole, like, for that price. I think that somebody was trying to put that up for 200 coins, but whatever. This Dick LeBeau right here, man. This is this is a card that I sat here and I looked at it. it he, his price was like 125 right? So I sat here and I said, you know, if I sold him for 125 I wouldn't make any money at all. Pretty much I, I think I would have made, like, uh, no money at all. I think I would have got back 109 so I would have lost 1K. So I said, let me sell him, see if I can sell him for 135. And really, I was like, I'm going to pass him up. I'm going to pass him up because I wish he was going for 100K. If he was going for 100K, I probably would have bought him. But he ended up, I just said, you know what, let me just get him. So I put him up for 135. And I'm going to tell you this, he sold almost instantly. It's crazy because there was one up for 137. And I was like, I'm just putting him up for 135 because, you know, I don't really care. I just wanted to make this one final snipe. And then I was going to like close it out because it only took me like 45 minutes but he ended up selling almost instantly so that was like easy 11 12k in the bag super happy if you guys enjoyed the video man make sure y'all click on the other videos that's on the screen so you guys can get more money making tips to expand your coins and expand your knowledge on madden ultimate team money making tips if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel because there'll be more videos like it drop a like on the video subscribe or you could drop a dislike if you dislike the video you felt like it didn't help you uh subscribe 
and uh, tune into the next episode. Enjoy all the other content on the channel, and I'm out.